The Dr. Oz Show schedule October 20, 2014, Dr. Oz Talks Rising Ebola Anxiety Dr. Mehmet Oz discussed the rising anxiety surrounding the Ebola epidemic and spoke to singer Melissa Etheridge about her breast cancer battle on the October 20th episode of the Dr. Oz Show. The October 8th death of Thomas Eric Duncan, the first Ebola patient to die in the United States, has fueled increasing concern among Americans about the possibility of an outbreak. Dr. Oz's guests were Ebola experts Dr. Alexander Van Tulleken and Dr. Daria Gillespie, who discussed whether a 21-day quarantine is enough when dealing with the deadly virus. A new study suggests a 31-day quarantine might be better. Dr. Oz said the World Health Organization is worried that if we don't contain Ebola within the next two months, it may have devastating consequences. We have only 60 days to contain this or we face an unprecedented situation for which we have no plan, read the WHO statement. However, Dr. Van Tulleken doesn't think Ebola can be contained within 60 days because there are insufficient relief efforts in West Africa. Van Tulleken said humanitarian groups in West Africa can barely keep up with the raging epidemic. He commended the United States for being the only nation to proactively take steps to contain Ebola. Meanwhile, he said the general American population is at a very low risk of contracting Ebola, saying you are unlikely to get it even on airplanes. However, Van Tulleken said more hospitals need to be prepared for Ebola, pointing out that only four U.S. hospitals are prepared to treat the deadly flesh-eating virus. Melissa Etheridge, Prevent Cancer with Healthy Diet and Stress Reduction On a separate segment, Dr. Oz welcomed singer Melissa Etheridge, who was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004. Etheridge has since made a complete recovery and is cancer-free. Melissa, who's openly gay, is respected for her advocacy efforts and recently released her 17th album, This Is Emmy. Etheridge, who has a family history of cancer, said her breast cancer battle made her realize that nothing is more important than good health. Melissa stopped chemotherapy early because the side effects made her suffer a loss of feeling in her fingers, which interfered with her music making. However, she has been cancer-free for almost 10 years, and believes a healthy diet and stress management is critical for preventing and managing cancer. In June 2013, Melissa came under fire after slamming Angelina Jolie's decision to get a preventive double mastectomy was not brave. Etheridge, who tested positive for the BRCA gene that Angelina has, which puts carriers at high risk for cancer, said getting a preventive mastectomy was a fear-based decision. I have that gene mutation too, and preventive surgery is not something I would believe in for myself, said Etheridge. I wouldn't call it the brave choice. I actually think it's the most fearful choice you can make when confronting anything with cancer. Angelina was widely praised for proactively undergoing preventive surgery, given her genetic risk profile and tragic family history of cancer deaths. Etheridge has since softened her stance, but said she believes if you are at a high risk for cancer, you should make good nutrition and stress management your top priority before considering preventive surgery.